had a little bit of breaking weather news around the area, not the most impactful thing in the world, but pretty visually impressive and kind of cool as well. Several inches of rime ice, or what the English sometimes call hoarfrost, formed around Boysen Reservoir. Now, to get something like this, you need three main ingredients. Number one, you need a prolonged period of temperatures below freezing. If you live in the Riverton area, we haven't really gotten above 20 degrees for several days now, so we definitely had that. Number two, you need a moisture source. Portion of the reservoir is still unfrozen. It's pretty deep, so the water can mix and stay unfrozen, as well as several inches of snow that fell across northern portions of the reservoir. And number three, you need a prolonged inversion to help prevent mixing and the fog from lifting out. Now you're asking me, Chris, what the heck is an inversion? Well, I'm going to show you right now. It's what meteorologists call a skew-t diagram, basically how the atmosphere is from the surface all the way up to about 100,000 feet up in the atmosphere. Now it measures three main things you can see here, wind, moisture, as well as temperature. Now the lie on the right, that's temperature. And usually when you climb mountains, obviously you notice it gets cooler as you go up in the atmosphere. That's usually what happens. But in an inversion, you can see that right there as the temperature rises pretty rapidly there. All the inversion is is temperature is rising as you go up in the atmosphere. Now what this does is it helps stabilize the atmosphere and those stronger winds aloft can't mix down to the surface. And as a result, you get a lot of moisture trapped near the surface and with those cold temperatures, it helps form fog and also the hoarfrost. And it was quite thick. This is a measurement he took. You can see it's about four inches thick. One more thing we'll look at here. This is a uh, video we took at the office a few years ago. We had a prolonged period of ice fog around the area during that time. And you can see it got so thick we were able to throw a football on it and knock it off. Looks kind of cool in slow motion too as well, doesn't it? A little quick explanation of hoarfrost. Kind of cool, isn't it? 